So we want to perform the division of 18 by 0 0.25. All right, so let's go ahead and tackle this together by first setting it up like a fraction. 18 divided by 0 0.25. And the point here is, like we've been saying, that to divide by a decimal, don't. Just don't. I am going to move that decimal place over in that denominator. I'm going to move it as many times as I need to to not have a decimal at all. So let me just copy this over to show you what it's going to look like when I do it. So I'm going to move that decimal place over once, twice. So that's twice in the denominator. So I am going to do it the same number of times on the top. So twice on top, one, two. And just like I might, you know, you might think I'm going to ask, well, what number do I put in that blank space? Yeah, it's going to be zero. The blank spaces can always be filled by zeros. So what we essentially have, everybody, is 18 over 0 0.25 is the same thing as 1800 divided by 25. That's what the math says. That's what your rules of fractions tells you. That's what makes this so much easier than thinking about that decimal. So with that, let's do it. Let's set up the long division, 25, going into 1800 right over here. And so let's plug it in. Here we go. So 25 can't go into one, doesn't go into 18, but it does go into 180. So we'll go ahead and calculate that. 25 goes into 180 how many times, my friends? When we think about it, four times is 100. 5 is 125, 6 is 150, 7 is 175. So yeah, we would definitely use 7. And so we'll subtract 175, giving us a remainder here of right there, 5. And so then we drop that 0, and we ask ourselves, how many times does 25 go into 50? That's an easy one. That's going to be 2. And there we go. The final answer here is 72, and we're good. And if you don't believe me, again, take a moment, grab that calculator, and do 18 divided by 0 0.25, and there you are. So my party people, are we feeling good about division by decimals? Are we feeling good about this as we move forward?